Hello and welcome to my Fuse 77 network reporting from the White House and I am here with the coolest team of young guys. What's your name? Gabriel St. Kitts. And what's yours? Amari D'Souza. And yours? Stephanie Bullock. And yours? Maria Haywood. And yours? Shimika Stanley. And where are you guys from? We are from the United States Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands. A cool place to be by the way. So, you guys have been selected among a whole bunch of other students for the science fair. What is it that you guys have that you'd love to show other young people just like you guys? Well, we are representing the Team America Rocketry Challenge, and that is the largest competition, and it, largest rocketry competition. And it, cool. And it hosts over 700 teams and over 5,000 students. Awesome. Chill, relax. So, I want you guys to show me a little bit of what we have here, because I see a bunch of really coolest slogan thing. What is this thing? Oh, well, the rockets that you see standing are for display purposes. Okay. So, um, these are just for design, you know, just to show you, like, that we are creative with our designs. Mm -hmm. it's not, we, we don't just follow so standards. You mean to tell me you guys actually worked on the design on these things? Oh, yeah. For real? Yeah. How long did it take? Um, well, we just brainstorm, you know. Yeah. Maybe like, like a few months or weeks mm -hmm. to design, like to build and gather up all the materials and to actually make the rocket. Really? So what was the process like? What would you like? Did you guys like throw out the brainstorming? Like, did you come out like, hey, let's make this shape, let's make that shape? How how does it all go? Well, yeah, we just we just throw some ideas out there and we see see what goes well. What we put it together. If it doesn't go well, then we just um, swap out some things uh -huh. and we just keep doing that until we got the ideal rocket for our, for our competition. My goodness. So give me a little bit of brief of uh, each and every one of them and why you selected this piece. Well, this rocket right here is actually. The original rocket that we're using for TARC. These okay. are just for display purposes, just to show, like, we, we still design. We don't really follow standards all the time, you know? Okay. So this one is our original rocket. So as you can see, we have, compared to these two, there, there's wow. a different type of nose cone. Uh -huh. Well, we, this nose cone is special because the shape differently. Okay. You can see. Um, it has a better, it's better in aerodynamics because it's, it cuts through the air and mm -hmm. it, it runs smoother than all the other rockets. How does it compare to the sharp one because this is a little round mm -hmm. this is much more sharper yeah. so does that mean that I, for example which one will be quicker which one will be faster well this and our well it depends solely on the rocket itself okay it's not really just the nose cone on the one mm -hmm. you see um if you compare these two rockets they're okay. actually light this one is lighter than this one okay yeah sweet okay yeah and they're made of balsa wood uh-huh so if you were to compare this then this one would probably go faster because it's like much lighter and shorter? Yeah. Okay. And, and what else goes in it? Like, what else you got to put in? Oh, well, see, there are, there are criteria for our competition. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the criteria for our competition, the rocket must fly to 800 feet and be back to the Earth. Up? Between, yeah, mm -hmm. 800 feet Like, up. for real? Yeah. Straight up. Up. Okay. And it has to be back to the Earth between 46 and 48 seconds. And it has an egg in it, and mm -hmm. when the egg comes back down, it, it can't crack. Really? Oh, yeah. It's one raw egg. Can't boil it, can't do anything to it. Mm -hmm. So, which means that if it comes back and the eggs cracks, mm -hmm. then you fail. You're disqualified. You're disqualified. Instantly. Instantly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there. And how do you make sure that that egg is very nicely secure, both on the takeoff and also when it lands? Well, you see, this is our payload compartment right here. From okay. this, I'll show you from this section. Okay. This up is our payload compartment. So we have special. We have a material that we use called, you know, bubble wrap. It's regular packaging mm -hmm. material. Okay. So um, from all the material that we use so far, this is this gave us like the highest success rate of protecting our egg. We've okay. had like a 98 percent, 99.9 percent chance of getting our egg coming back mm -hmm. intact. So um, that works really well for us. And then so our astronaut, our astronaut always comes back safe. Okay. Yeah. So you pretty much considering an astronaut an egg. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, the competition is trying to like. Like, turn your mind into thinking that that is our astronaut. Yeah. Like simulating like a real, real big rocket mission. So you have to try to protect your astronaut as as, as great as possible. Try to make sure it's secure and make sure nothing will happen to it as it goes up. Because if that's correct, basically your astronaut is dead. Well, and can you tell us what challenges have you guys met when you were working on this? What were what were some of the challenges that you that you have gone through? Well, we went to bees, pit bulls, long grass, pit bulls. Pit bulls. Really? Yes. How? Um, because it landed in people's yards. Yeah. And 
then we had to go for it. Oh my goodness. And the, some of the dogs. Really? Yes. Yeah. See, we, we're you know, limited. We're, we, since we're from the Virgin Islands, we don't have as large fields as you can get here. Okay. So um, when we're launching, sometimes it goes in, less, in like a next area of St. Yeah. Croix. Um, sometimes it lands in people's yard, they're upset. Sometimes it lands in yards with raging pit bulls and rat wilders, and we have to try to get it from there. Sometimes there's bees uh, like trying to sting us. They're, sometimes we even have to climb trees just to get our rocket. Are you serious? Yeah, so, so who does what among you guys? Like if there's a pit bull, who runs? Him. Th these are, are the recovery crew. Okay, oh, so you guys are recovery crew. Yeah. So you pretty much like really strategize on how to get it as safely as you can and also without injuring or harming yourself. Yeah, you see since he's the smallest one, we we'll most likely send him in the tree to get it. My goodness. And so you're pretty fast, you're pretty quick yeah, and very thorough. They're good. And what about you guys? What does your team do? Well, we are basically like the launching crew. Yeah. We have okay. to make sure the rocket is well. Is um, to criteria, we have to make sure everything is in. Mm -hmm. to fly and we're right there when we're ready to turn the switch for it to launch. Sweet. Yeah. So how how did you guys as a team get together? Did you all select one another or you, it was organic? Like how did it happen? Well I would say it was organic. It okay. really was. Like we just like based on, on our how we react to each other we just we just it just went. It just, it just came together. The, okay. Basically. And, and do you have any help? Any special help from uh, school, local government? How, like in order for you guys to be more successful, have you had a lot of help and, and if not also do you, would you like to see more help? Well we've, we've got a lot of support from our island. I mean all our all these big companies are supporting us from from even our sister islands from St. Thomas we have companies supporting us and we also have a great crew of adults right behind us pushing us to do what we're supposed to do right over there yeah. as you can see them. Absolutely. That's our advisor Mr. Steve Bullock. We also okay. have Mr. Bashley Bullock that's another coach uh -huh. and we have Ms. Kupaya. That's another. That's another advisor. Okay. And we also have one more, Mr. Sherma Ferdinand. Those are those are the four people that just push us to do what we're supposed to do. This is a lot of work. Yes, and it is. Very successful. Yes. And now, can you tell other young people, especially those who are inland here? How hard did you have to work and how hard do you have to work to actually be successful? Well, we had to work really hard. I mean, um, based on all, all of the challenges we had to go through, as we said, we had to go through all those challenges just to even recover our rocket. Um, sometimes um, we don't really receive enough enough funding for the club to go to go up, but mm -hmm. by the grace of God, we made it. Absolutely. We, we even made it here, and this is like one of the biggest opportunities we've ever had. It's such an honor to even be here. Mm -hmm. So although it's challenging, I can say for one that practice does make improvement, and yes. we always strive for the best. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Now let me ask you. Other young guys who would love to come and present the science fair project here at White House. What's the coolest thing you guys have had so far by, you know, one, introducing your project, but also being here at the White House? Meeting the President of the United States. And how did it feel? It felt great. I never experienced nothing like that in my life. Now, does that make you uh, feel like, you know what, not only I can achieve my science project, but I, but you can do better, even be a president, right? Yeah, I can strive to do better. Absolutely. How about you? Well, I felt fantastic. I felt like a celebrity, like shaking the president's hand. It was a great experience. Uh, and you already actually asked, you guys won't be the same. I, I can tell you from the get-go. Oh, yeah. Since you arrived here, you're going to get more folks want to take yeah. pictures with you. Oh, yes. Want to pick on your brain. So, all yeah. well, you're smart, right? Oh. Oh, smart? Yeah, of Ab course we're smart. Absolutely. So how about you? What was the coolest thing? Well, I would say the coolest thing was just, just to be graced by the president's presence. That's basically it. I mean, just to be here and just to actually just just explain what all of our hard work that we've done in the, in, in the VI. Yeah. Everything. And of course, we're from a minority. So, you know, it's, it's just a great opportunity to showcase what we have done and to show, just to show the mainland that the mainland can do, and just to show the mainland that our a minority like us can do great. Great things. Yes, I agree. How about you? What you well, like the, the best thing that I liked about it is even just to see the president in person and yeah. not on TV and be able to, being able to come in a White House. So that was the greatest experience you could have. How about you? Well, the best thing for me is that I finally 
saw him except on, except on TV because that's all I saw him. And it was a very big opportunity for us because we're such from we're from a small island, a very small island, and we're one of the few to go meet the president. And you would have never thought that. Guys, you might never get this opportunity again. I am telling. No, don't worry. You guys will get plenty more opportunities because I'm not here but want to know how you guys are doing. Oh. And not only that, we're gonna be sending a whole lot more people to check to check on you guys. Oh yeah, keep it off fingers crossed. You might come back here again. You never know. No, you guys are coming. Okay. I have to vote for you guys. We're coming back again. We're gonna come, come back. You definitely have to come back. So guys, last but not least, um, what are the words of encouragement can you, that you can give other young people, especially those who might not be doing very well in school, or those who are really being challenged? Uh, what can you tell them in order for them to also realize that they can do great things, just like you guys? Well, you know, um, for one, I can say that never give up. Although, although you may you may run into some challenges and you may feel like like your world is coming coming down and like you just can't can't continue, just never give up. This is how we made it here. We never gave up on our design. We never gave up trying. We always tried. We always strive for the best, and this is where we are. We've made it. We've made it thus far, and we might even make it to higher heights. So that's one thing I know. Just never give up because you, you as anybody, can reach the higher heights once they put their mind to it. Absolutely, and you don't have to be a minority to achieve the greatness, right? You can do it all. Now, do you guys have a website where people can follow you, science projects, you know, give you some feedbacks, commentaries, and all that? Oh yeah, we have a Facebook. Facebook and we also have an Instagram. You can you can hit us up at VI Rocketeers. That's on Facebook, and you can also um, check us out on VI Rocketeers on Instagram. That's VI Rocketeers. And um, I would also like to say I would like to thank all of our advisors for put, for get, just helping us to get here. Just thank all of them. Of course, I named them before. Just thank all four because if it wasn't for them, we actually wouldn't be here. Absolutely, absolutely. Any parting words? Any parting words? Practice makes improvement. Keep striving for the best. Yeah, and yeah, as I said, we just want to thank them. Just thank. I want to thank personally. I want to thank Mr. Bullock for just being there with us. Just, just always at right behind us, just pushing us just to go further. Because you know, without him, we might not even make it to the White House. As I said, he was the one that was always behind us, always making sure that we were doing well in our schoolwork. Always, we're just making sure we just knew what what we know now. And we also would like to thank thank the um, other chaperones, Mr. Bashani Bullock, Mr. Um, Camille Gavaya and Mr. Ma Ferdinand because they were also right behind us every step of the way. Now, would you guys mind just coming in the picture for just a little bit because uh, we'd love the world to see you guys as a team and all you have achieved with you. Come right over here, will be perfectly fine. And uh, this is a wonderful team from the Virgin Island and we are so grateful and so honored uh, to have you guys here at the White House. Yes. And um, could you tell us briefly um, what made you pick these students? And why the projects? Because they have a passion for science and they're very dedicated to learning more. And once you see that, that um, passion in students, then it motivates you as an educator to help them along the way, to, to guide them, to mentor them. And I suspect that these students are going to become astronauts, aerospace engineers, scientists. So the stars is the limit. Absolutely. And how does it feel as, uh, as one of the educators, really, who have been helping to nurture uh, such a wonderful talent? How does it feel, especially that you guys are here at the White House, almost the highest the highest place you can really go do you you know such an amazing presentation well it's out of this world it's awesome it's phenomenal that we have made it we made it to the white house and these students they are role models they are the they are the ultimate ambassadors for talk team america rocketry challenge and i'm saying that you know um, the the euphoria the adrenaline rush it's it, it would take some time for us to to get back down to it and I'm, I'm one of one educator who believes that students can accomplish everything that they can if they have the right mentorship and the right support system and these wonderful teachers the adults we are there to guide them and so it's really a tremendous achievement guys i am so honored to have been here to witness all the wonderful things that have been uh, spoken of you guys and i look forward to come and see when do you guys launch do you know um, um, the competition yes oh the competition is in may in may in, this coming may yeah at manassas virginia you know 
know what? I am going to be there, and I hope to see you guys in live. We, 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 we're going to have to do a live broadcast on that day, so you guys, we can really show the world Welcome. what you guys are doing. We are, we're going to have a special lunch for you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I would love to, and I've already made some arrangement with Ashley, yeah. so I'll make sure that we come in with a big team and then just showcase you guys on it, all right? Can we invite you to the Virgin Islands? Yes, I would love to come. Uh, you know, um, it's always sunny. It's always... And I've never been. And I very much would love to come. It's so my boss, you better understand, they just invited me. Yeah. So you can't say no. It's always 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So we want to, in I would personally um, bet that you would have the greatest time in your life coming to the VI. I would very much love to come and see you guys at home. All right. So thank you guys. It's been really a pleasure of mine to talk to you, to be with you guys. And I wish you good luck. I hope you really get to rock those, you know, these rockets are yeah. out there yeah. on it. Thank you. Give me some five. Give me some five. There you go. There you go. And yours. Give me the five to on camera. Thank you so much, guys. The polling line from uh, the White House. I am Freeman, and you guys take it back.